Introducing first, the fighter standing in the red corner. He enters the ring. Wearing the black trunks trimmed in gold when he stepped on the scale, he weighed in at an official 127 pounds. And tonight, here at Night of Champions, he is making his professional debut. Fighting out of Monterrey, Nuevo León, Mexico, El Regio, Miguel Ángel Moreno. His opponent across the ring in the blue corner, wearing black with gold and white trim, he weighed in at an official 125 and one half pounds. And he enters the ring tonight here at Night of Champions, an undefeated professional with three victories. One of his victories coming by way of KO, fighting out of Eva Beach, Hawaii, the Hawaiian pit bull, Arnold Dino. I expect a good, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Keep the punches up, touch gloves, come out at the bell. Thank you. As Sharon Sands is our referee tonight, Doug. Yeah, and here's the tale of the tape. Denong is the younger man at age 24. He is the taller man by two inches, and he has a slight reach advantage. And aloha to everybody watching us in the 808, Arlene Denong. Sabrina Campbell, Matt McKinney, everybody that's watching it in Hawaii. So if you're in Hawaii, the sun's probably still out. So share it. Arnold Dinong with the white gloves. He's 3-0, has a KO, has, uh, has some has the potential. They like him. It's the third time appearing on a Thompson card. I like his form so far. This yeah. is my first time seeing him fight live or otherwise. Yeah, when I saw him in Salinas, he came out. I talked to him briefly beforehand. Uh, he said he lives in uh, Northern California now. Yeah, I think Daly City. Daly City, that's where you, as he said, Hawaii's good, but to get the work, the quality sparring, that'll make the move to the mainland. He's 24 years old. So you hear the punches landing. 30-year-old Miguel Angel Moreno. Making his debut in our report from Pierre Casintas, who does a great job giving us a standing report and notes for every single fight on uh, Miguel Moreno. Yep, making his debut. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's what we right. got. That's all we know about. So he might be one of those uh, parts unknown wrestlers. I'll tell you what, he's game. There's yep. some aggression there, and he understands that he can't compete with Denong on the outside, Denong being the taller, rangier fighter and also the faster fighter with the better technique. Moreno's only chance is to get inside and to mix it up. Arnold got that chiseled body. Wearing the Grant gloves. Got the snack on the trunk, so you know that Victor Conti exposure out there. Yep, snack gym is Bay Area. Daily City is Bay Area. And I tell you what, if you're a, a really good Filipino fighter, or fighter of Filipino des descent, you can build up a fan base pretty quickly out there. You know, one day fight at a, a decent sized venue, maybe like in San Jose or so. Well, the Hawaiian pit bull, Arnold Dino. It's our uh, opening bout of the night. Two more fights, Angel Ruiz, and then the main event, Taras Shelistruk, the Ukrainian. Denong is proving to be a thinking boxer. He's got fast hands, and he's found a home for that left yeah. hook. He cracked it with that left hook. It's nice. Moreno smiles at him. So, like I said, he's definitely game. That kick caught again to Moreno. It's one thing to spar. Another thing to look amateur. But when you make a pro debut, and they're giving you a fighter with the nickname of Pit Bull. Final seconds of the opening round. Bethel Duran, Doug Fisher, and you. Thompson Boxing from the Double Tree in Orange, Night of Champions. But keep the comments coming. Let's see what we got here on the Facebook. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to acknowledge our proud sponsors for making tonight's Night of Champions a tremendous success. Bill Burke Papers and Hardscapes, Morale, Cal Portland, 
Semco, Semex, Chandler Aggregates Incorporated, Clark Dietrich, Commercial Bank of California, De Acero, El Dorado Stone, and Easy Mix. Reina Liz Guillermo, what's happening? Alicia Rivero, hello, hello, Christian Pasqua. You're watching Arnold Dino and Miguel Angel Moreno. And Dino, if you're, okay, if you're related to him, just write down that you're related to him. <laughs> <laughs> we'll believe you today. That happens every show, right? Somebody, oh, yeah, but yeah, somebody usually, comments in and says, hey, I'm related to this guy. Yeah, and usually I'll call him out on it. But you know, the Hawaiians, hey, everybody's family in Hawaii. Chris Briones, you know Miguel Moreno? You guys call him Mikey? Si se llama Mikey? Well, Mikey's fighting like a pit bull. Denon's fighting like a, a sweet technician in there. Yeah, he's smooth. Yeah, he's, I, he moves around the ring really well. He works off his jab, puts his punches together well, he doesn't waste a lot of shots. But that's also something, too, that comes with a ring experience, right, Doug? They calm down. Yeah, he, he's mature. I mean, he only has three fights under his belt, but um, I think he had um, some kind of amateur background. Yes, and he, he did. And he's 24. He's not like one of these guys turning pro at 18 or 19, so he doesn't have all that nervous energy. Um, he, he's mature in there. And, and we're seeing, you know, we're seeing wrinkles to his game. This guy's tough enough to at least take him into the second round. And so we just saw some body shots from Denon. We didn't see that in the opening round. Arlene Dinong, is that really your son? I mean, because, you know, if he wins, somebody else might claim him. <laughs> <laughs> if you're listening to Thompson Boxing for the first time, guess what we do? We interact with you on the Facebook page. We do have some fun with it. You know, it's a Saturday night. You're a hardcore fan checking it out. You should be related. Get you with it. Denong's one of those guys that also supplies his own sound effects for every shot. Hey, that's good, though. It's what Manny Pacquiao sounds like when he hits a heavy bag. The exact same noises. And you've been there many a oh, times. Yeah. So that's the voice of Doug Fisher, the editor-in-chief of Ring Magazine. You were dropping some knowledge about a fight that you saw in a warehouse with Lupe Contreras. <laughs> I can't believe I remembered that, yeah. In the middle of Texas in a warehouse, and uh, Leo Santa Cruz's brother couldn't continue because he passed out. That's right. Jose Armando Santa Cruz, and I think the guy who upset him's name was Francisco Trejo. Sabrina Campbell, that's my nephew. Go Arnold, so proud of you. Let's go. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll let you claim him as a nephew. Second round of action, schedule for four. That'll do it with two. Monchu, I'm related to Betha. Nah, man, nobody's related to me. <laughs> it's funny, I get a lot of people say, oh, I'm a Duran, I'm related to you. I'm like, <laughs> actually, I'm not related because my dad has no brothers. So there are no Duran cousins. <laughs> and then I found out recently that my dad's grandfather had was also an only boy. So oh, there really? are no Duran. Oh, so I wow. have people like, Oh, these Duran, we're related. Like, no, 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 no. Nice I did, try. I did my 23 and me. We're not out there. Don't claim me. All of a sudden, they want to claim us, especially around uh, when we're in Vegas for a fight. Everybody. Right. Oh, yeah. Give me some. Give me that ticket hookup. Manchu brings up a, a Hawaiian here. His speed reminds me of Brian Valoria, the Hawaiian punch. It's funny he brings up Valoria. I believe Denon, back in Hawaii, trained at the same gym that Valoria trained at as an amateur. Really? Yeah, and of course, Valoria was an awesome man amateur. He was a uh, 2000 U.S. Olympian. Yeah, Brian Valoria now as a trainer. I think he has Chris Van Hardeen. Is that? He's got. Uh, well, he they train at the same gym. He's, he he trains fighters at the same gym that uh, Chris Van Heerden trains Van Heerden, at. Van Heerden, yeah, Van Heerden, a welterweight oh, okay, contender. Okay. 
but he has a young Churchill prospect boxing. named Christian Robles, a flyweight prospect. That's who Brian is training. Yeah, Valoria, 2000 Olympian, been in some great battles over the years. Aaron Nagwan saying, watching in Phoenix, Arizona, go, go Arnold. Uncle is <laughs> watching here. Ooh. The nice right hand landed by Denong, and he's also working the body. And do you see the blood, blood on the back? In the middle of the back. Of, is that the, from the head, Paul? Moreno. So Moreno is cut from the back of the head. There must, yeah, there must be a cut on his head that's dripping into the, his back. That, that yep. has to be from a clash of heads. Yep. Paul Lafornia, our executive producer, director, catching it all. There's Moreno walks into a punch. Moreno holding, not, not bad for Spider Maker's pro debut. Usually here guys come in their debuts and they don't know what they're expecting. He's game and he's got the toughness to go along with it. And I'm thinking either Moreno has a really good chin or maybe Denong is not a puncher. It's one of the two. Nathan Sparks, I'm related to both of these guys. There you <laughs> I mean, go. That's a good way. <laughs> You're like related it. to both and you still couldn't get tickets. <laughs> that's how exclusive the VIP was tonight. The Night of Champions. That's weird. I see it now. Yeah. The blood spot in the middle, in the back of his head. How did that happen? Oh, I see. Like right there, when they're when they're in a clinch like yeah. that, All right. they they get really tied up. I don't see any sort of abrasion on the face of Denong though. Now people are claiming California. All of a sudden, <laughs> yeah, his name was, and people are claiming him. Minutes to go in the third round. Watching Arnold Dino, the undefeated Hawaiian, 3-0. Miguel Angel Moreno. He's got the black gloves from Monterrey, Mexico. Making his pro debut. Dino weighed at 125. Moreno 127. And I'm your Irish uncle. There you go. And a good La Bamba reference. About time we get it, Ace. Uh, Moreno was hurt from a body shot. Yep. He's been grimacing since the second round. And he's making that face of, uh-huh. No, he can catch to the head, so it, I think it behooves Dengon to, to put choice shots to the body. Yeah, the gloves are different when you're a pro. He's hurt, he's hurt. Yeah, that body shot yeah. got him. It was a left, left to the body. And you could see it in the body language of Moreno. He, yeah. that, those punches affect him. They earn respect. Final seconds of the third round. Good round for Arnold Dinong, again, the Hawaiian. Getting to the fourth and final round. All you Hawaiians, I know you're an island time, but you better share. Coming up for Arnold Dinong. And for those of you that know, if Arnold did train at the same gym as uh, Brian Valorio, let us know. Up next, Angel Ruiz, Roberto Almazan. Almazan is a tough dude. Don't let that record fool you. This dude comes to scrap. Yeah, he's been in tough. And Hardscape, Pacific Clay Products Incorporated. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the fourth and final round. David Love checking in. Appreciate you, uh, David. Uh, and your opinions on all the fights. Matt McKinney jumping on. Fourth and final round. Isidro Lasea, I'll say the Hawaiian will finish the fight next round. Man, you are good, even though this is the last round. If Denon really concentrates to the body, that could happen. Philip Monk, a KO is coming. Okay, let's see here. Just stood Moreno up with a right hand. Moreno still grimacing. Doug. Those body shots took a toll in the third. And there's a two-piece to Moreno's head. There's a, a left dug into the body of Moreno. But Denong is taking his time. He's not, he's not rushing himself. Doesn't look like he's seeking the knockout. It's also very important for these young fighters to get rounds too, right? You Absolutely. Yeah. A 20-second knockout, what does it do for you? Good left hook. You see a swelling underneath the right eye of Miguel Moreno. And there is a bump 
Um, I saw it somewhere on the face of Denon where I'm pretty sure their heads clashed. Yeah, yeah that was forehead. a clash. Yeah. So he's not coming out completely unscathed. Very active. I like, though, that he attacks the body. Well, he's upstairs, downstairs, upstairs, downstairs. And then that's good. Every round he's going to. He's going to target the, the head, and he's going to target the body. I'm seeing a nice variety of punches and a decent selection from Danon. Okay, it's different. So some of these guys, based on their amateur background, and Danon is in his mid-20s now, so you're going to have to move him a little faster. That's true. Got the Adidas boots, as long as they don't have the Adidas gloves. Got the Grant. Grant is quality gloves. Oh, those are expensive too. Yeah, huh? and if you've got fast hands and you, you wear white gloves like Denon is, it makes you look even faster. Joey Moreno is going to rock the boxing world. Remember you read, okay, Joey. <laughs> I, I didn't read it. I just said it. Why are you going to rock the boxing world? Let me know. Why? Really, though, T-H-O, I appreciate that. Tell you, we read all the comments. <laughs> hey, do you know Joey Moreno? Let me know. Fight winding down, Melbourne inbound. The Thompson Boxing, not a champion of the Double Tree Hotel in Orange, California. Thompson Boxing, normally the Double Tree in Ontario. As Moreno gets hit, slips a little bit. Not a bad showing for the 30 year old, making a yeah. pro debut. Give he's a lot a, of credit to anybody. He's a plucky dude. Got some personality. And obviously a lot of heart, because he took some punishment in these four rounds. And it looks like Denon. He's going to settle for a shutout. Yep. Christian Pasco says karaoke after this, Arnold. Oh, why? What does he sing, Christian? For Chris Christian? We got a live band in the, in the room tonight. At least it sounds like it. Sounds live, man, but it isn't. Oh, is it? It's good oh, stuff, yeah. yeah. Arlene Dinal is a good job, son. Ethan Sparks, come on, you gotta have better jokes than that one. Come on, bro. All right, Joey Moreno, you're saying Joey Moreno, we get it, but why? Why are you gonna shock the boxing world, Joey? Ladies and gentlemen, they're going to distance here at Thompson Boxing Promotions. Night of Champions, all three judges. Turn in identical scorecards of 40 to 36. In favor of the winner by way of unanimous decision, still undefeated, the Hawaiian pit bull, Arnold Dinong. Arnold Dinong improves the four and up, goes the distance, gets some quality rounds, and Mark Antalans, they will be proud of you, Arnold, in Hawaii. Chihu, of course, the Hawaiian cheer. Abigail Dinong, good job, Arnold. That's my brother. You know what, Abigail? I'm going to say it is. That's your brother right there. And then